Hi everyone, Karin here. Uh, sorry about the light, I'm having a few issues. I hope you can see me okay and hear me okay. Just wait for a few people to come in and let me know that they can hear me. Can you hear me and see me okay? Hi Scooby Shaggy, hi Peter A. Hi Saz Guest. Oh good, right. I'm a bit flushed, sorry, I've just had my tea. It made me a bit flushed. Hope everyone's okay this evening. Um, so yesterday, hi Mel, hi Death by Glamour. So yesterday, I had the opportunity, because of doing YouTube, um, someone who watches me and all of us resellers um, contacted me, who lives nearby, and said that she had a load of stuff she'd bought to resell and was I interested in it. So I said yes and uh, went there yesterday and she had loads of lovely stuff. So I ended up buying over 130 items um, and played a really good price. Everything is worked out at less than a pound an item. So I'm really pre pleased overall with what I've got. I've got a few things that I've never had before, but I thought I'd show you my first lot of stuff. I sorted it all out last night. I've got a massive load of menswear, a load of uh, jumpers and winter coats, um, loads of women's wear, some plus size. So good mixture. Sadly, no non-clothing items. So Anyone who's interested in that, sorry, this is all clothes. Um, and for me, sadly, no shoes. But um, yeah, lots of clothes, so I shall start showing what I've got. Just so, oh, Andrea Hills, Heather. Who else we got? Uh, Shelley. Hi, everyone. Hope you're all good. So I thought, I was going to leave the jumpers, but then I thought I'm going to sort them out and just see what there is, so... Oh, you've got a weekend vlog coming out, Peter. Excellent. First thing is a fat face jumper, which I think is really pretty. And because of the print on it, someone could use it as a sort of evening cover up, couldn't they? Or something like that. So I thought I'll get that listed now. I'm just going to chuck everything behind me on the ironing board. Um, I've had monsoon fusion dresses before, but this is like a Chanel-esque cardigan, which I think is quite nice with the, the gold buttons, little pockets there. It's got little shoulder pads in it as well. Oh, you're in your son's karate class. Hello, Heather. <laughs> if you can see that. <laughs> Oh, hi, Lexi. I always want to say sexy Lexi. <laughs> what have we got here? I did it so quickly last night. I don't I don't know everything that I've got. Um, oh, Marisota. I think that's a catalogue brand, isn't it? It's just like a, a one. Yeah, like a one button cardigan. So that's quite thick. So although someone might want it now, I don't know. Everybody's got nicknames. Lexus could be Sexy Lexi. <laughs> I think I have got um, a smaller version of this in a different colour. It's just like a one button cardigan, like what you'd wear over a dress or something, per una. Size extra large, which I would imagine by looking at it's probably an 18 to 20. But it's nice anyway, it's a nice colour. And as I say, it's got just got like one big button. A burger and ratatouille. I had, what did I have to eat today? I had wheat bix for my breakfast and I had a potato and herb omelette for my lunch and a yoghurt. And for my tea, I had stuffed jacket potato and two sausages from yesterday's dinner. I love cold sausages. <clears throat> a grot burger. <laughs> Tuna. I can't get away with tuna. I'm really sorry about my hideous, 
my hideous radiator there if you can see it in the background that is going to be a thing of the past soon because i bought paint to strip it um i've got my photography light on because the the lamp that's above me it's a bit harsh sometimes so hi laney you okay hope you're good anyone else come in that i've missed don't think so right does, has anyone heard of this brand because i've definitely not heard of this brand before this is ND Exports, and it's like a sort of tiered ruffle maxi skirt. Don't think it's new. It's not new. Size small, but it's got quite a big waist on it. Oh, hi, Crispy. Has anyone heard of that brand before? ND Exports. The box, oh hi Woo Woo, it's, um, I got a massive haul yesterday of 100, over 130 items of clothing and I'm just showing you the first bit. So, no, you've not heard of it. <clears throat> Maybe Karen might have, because she, she gets a lot of brands because she buys bundles that I've never heard of. Now this is quite faded on the collar. So I don't know whether to try washing it or whether it has been overwashed and that's why it's faded. I'm not going to sniff it. <clears throat> but it's a Miss 60, Miss 60 denim jacket. I had a quick look last night and the prices are still quite good, even though Miss, Mix, Miss 60, sorry, is a, I don't know how sought after it is now. When I was a teenager, it was quite the in, the in brand. So it's just a little denim jacket. I mean, it's uh, it says a size small and it is really small. I would say like an eight. We have a pretty hideous pattern skirt. It is, oh, Marks and Spencer. My bread and butter, just like a, a midi skirt like a summer skirt with a belt at least it's still got its belt so that's good everyone's just using this live as an excuse to chat <laughs> oh peruna that's nice um tie dyes in isn't it at the minute so that should sell pretty quickly it's like a tie dye probably linen blend skirt Mini skirt, short skirt, I wouldn't call it a mini. Oh, it has no labels. Hang on. <clears throat> yes, it's 100% linen. Excellent. Yeah, so that should sell well. Jolly good. Oh, another thing that's in at the minute is like neon colours isn't it this is a top Marks and Spencer new with tags original price 29.50 like a neon yellow summer top I think a lot of this is new with tags now actually I think this is the um, the new with tags lot of stuff ah indigo which is made by Marks and Spencers, but it's it's quite sought after, I found out, indigo stuff. And it's like a... Please somebody tell me what you'd call this. A boho top? A boho top? I don't know. If you can hear me. Sorry, I'm mumbling a bit. I've got a bit of a sore throat. <clears> throat> and how much would you ask for an M&S skirt like that? What, the tie-dye one? Um, was it new with tags? I don't think it was. It was new with tags a bit more. Probably 16 plus postage, probably, because of the pattern. If it was something plain, a bit less, probably. <coughs> Hi, Sam. You all right? Yes, we do need Karen here. She is the expert with the closes. Although, Heather, you might know. What would I call that? I'd probably just call it a boho top. Anyway, it's indigo, which is, like I said, quite sought after. Uh, 
This is a new wood tags, £35 original price. Aligned. I would imagine there's some linen in this. Size 18, good size. Oh. 73% viscose, 27% polymide. Hmm. Oh well, just like a, a long white skirt. Peasant tunic, that is the one. Peasant tunic. Peasant. Somebody text me peasant because I'll forget that. This is a pretty uh, hideous shirt, but it's new with tags. M&S again. Oh, it's pure cotton. Don't know what the original price was being ripped off. But yeah, I'm sure someone will buy that. It's a good size. It's a uh, size 24. It's a good size. It should really, that should be in with my plus size stuff. <clears throat> what's this oh Paruna newer tags don't know what's the, and what the original price is but it's a nice colour nice green floaty dress like line dress I'm only on 70 listings at the minute because loads of my stuff's ended which I need to relist and I sat there Darren's playing his new, is it Division 2 on the Xbox? So I was going to be in the bedroom anyway. And uh, I thought, right, shall I sit and list or shall I go live with some of my big haul? Because a lot of people have been saying, you need to do a haul. What's that? My listings are dropping like flies down to number of the devil. Oh, 666. Oh, you always leave Indigo. Oh, no, you should get it. As I said, it's, you know, um, I've got a leather jacket, a suede jacket on at the minute. And I, I thought I'd paid too much for it when I paid 6 50 And then I looked and loads of them had gone for 40 quid. So they're still quite sought after. Hello, BCP. You all right? How are you doing? Oh, Steve, please, don't start that in here. Otherwise, I will click you away. Okay, Steve, you've been warned. Just chat, but no hashtag. I'm not going to say it. Oh, this is quite a nice colour as well, like a deep green. Peruna new with tags. Oh, original price, 59.50. Nice jacket. Someone will like that. I'm going to end up with a mountain of stuff behind me. <clears throat> I'm only halfway through as well. Uh, another Peruna new with tags, £23, like a crochet. What you'd wear over a little dress, crochet cardigan. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Oh, I haven't said, I was going to say in my vlog, but I might as well say on here. I've actually had a diagnosis now. Part, this is part of the reason for this redness, actually, because that's one of the symptoms of it. Undifferentiated connective tissue disease is the name of it, or UCTD for short. Um, and I've been put on these tablets, which are horrible, called hydroxychloroquine. And they're so bitter when you take them and they make you feel sick after you've taken them. So it's not too bad in the evening because I have a bigger meal, but in the morning it's horrible. I just feel sick in the morning now. Um, so I'm on two a day for three months and then I'm going down to one a day. So that shouldn't be too bad because then it will be with my evening meal. So I'll get used to it. Um, so it's been making me feel pretty rubbish at the minute. But I've been assured by a lot of people that once they're in my system, I sh will start to feel better. So undifferentiated connective tissue disease. What a mouthful. Basically, that's what they call it when they don't really know what you've got. Um, it's um, autoimmune disease and um, it could mutate into something else. Usually it mutates into lupus, which is lupus is what really I thought I had and they thought I had for quite a while. Um, so it could end up being that. But it could also end up just going away by itself. So let's hope that happens. But 
for the time being. That's what I have. I'm a bit stiff as well because I fell over. <laughs> Last night I was busy sorting this stuff out and uh, the thing came up on my phone to say Nick and Andrea were going live. So I panicked and as I said, Hubby's doing his um, Xbox in the corner. I didn't want to disturb him. So I knew there was another charger wire down by the sofa. So I was squatting down trying to find the charger wire and I just lost my balance, fell backwards, fell against the door, sort of opened the door as I fell backwards and then landed really heavily like on the top of my butt. So I hurt my hip and the top of my back's, my top of my back's been worse today because I've like whacked that really hard as I went backwards. So, um, and then about five minutes later, I tripped over Monty's bone that was on the floor. So I'm doing well. <laughs> Yes, I am in the wars lately. <clears throat> yeah, I would love for this to go away, but I've been mean, seeing seeing as I've had it for five years, so I don't can't see it happening. <laughs> yeah, I Tara's like, what are you doing? I was like, I need to plug my charger in. <laughs> oh god. Be nice, Dave, please. Be nice. No Mickey taking. Oh well, the little the little flower that's on the front. It's like a brooch that you can take off. So that's nice, and that's nice that it's still there. So I'm not really safe to be left alone, to be honest. I'll I'll tell you the truth. When I have a shower, someone has to be here because the amount of times I have slipped getting in the shower, out of the shower. I have a little step now because <laughs> it's just quite sad for someone who's not even forty. But there you go. These things are sent to try us. That's why I work from home. What have we got? New with tag, size 14, just a little crochet cardigan thing with a little button at the top. So these are, these are all things that people like to buy, don't they, to go over dresses. People who don't like the tops of their arms like me. I bought another dress at the weekend as well for my sister's wedding because I'm started to feel panicky about this massive 50s dress that I bought and that I was going to be too overdressed more than anyone else and I've been panicking so um I ended up buying a shirt dress as well so I don't know what I'm going to wear what's going on oh please can I have a kitchen please saying that have you missed much hello Kath I've done about half the box of my stuff that I picked up on Sunday so, you can always watch it back though. Hashtag Team Karin. <laughs> I don't think I could. If someone arm wrestled me, they'd probably end up dislocating my shoulder. <laughs> I've got now just a boring stay soft, say stay soft size twenty two jumpery thing. That's another thing that needs to go in the plus size. Yeah, I'm doing a vlog this week as well to try and motivate me to get get stuff sorted and that. So I sh that should be coming out as well. If I remember to do it every day, I will. I will remember to do it. I've done it today. Uh, new with tags, just a size 14 jumper. Thin knit jumper. Now, I did quite well with a cotton trader skirt. This is a new with tags, cotton traders don't know what the original price was like a robe a waffle robe so anyone got any ideas about what to put that on for um I showed what I got on Thursday in the vlog Kath hi Chrissy hope you're okay <clears throat> what have I missed what have I missed is that to me sounds good Gas, Saz, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> Saz guest. Is that to me? Look what I'm achieving. I couldn't just sit on the sofa, as I said. I've done it for a year. So, yeah, um, I showed what I got on Thursday in my vlog. So I done that this morning, um, and I'm going to bring out like a vlog of the week. A hundred pounds for the dressing gown. Yes, Dave. Of course, I shall put it on straight away at a hundred pounds. <laughs> you always leave cotton traders too. I only, the reason I bought the skirt that I bought is because it was a pound. And then I was told when I showed it in a haul that 
there's a lot of people that like cotton trader stuff. There's a market for it. And my mum just said she'd bought something. Um, so I was like, oh. And then it sold really, really quickly. Within three or four days of me putting it on, sold straight away. I see loads of it. Where is Cotton Traders from? I think it's like a catalogue. It's like a booklet. I know they, I've seen them in like TV magazines. So I think a lot of old people buy their stuff. So this could have just been something that someone sent away for in a TV mag. I don't know. So I reckon, what do you reckon? 15 plus posts because it's new. I reckon that should be all right. Can you see the tag? Yes, you can see the tag. It's like red. That's a cotton trader's tag. Oh, they might have shops. Oh, is it Debenhams as well? Right. Yes, you are doing fantastic things. I lurk in the background of YouTube Insta, but you don't have the confidence to put up. Uh, don't have the confidence to put myself on screen. Well, you should go for it. It's the reason I did it, because I was feeling very isolated and um you know, I only get to see my friends and family two to three times a year. Um, and with my husband's shift, spend an awful lot of time on my own. And um, I just thought, you know, I was meeting loads of nice people. And a lot of the nice people I met in like Nick and Andrea's side chat and stuff like that encouraged me. I said I was thinking about you doing YouTube. And a lot of people encouraged me to do it. And I'm, I'm really glad that I did because I really enjoy the interaction doing it. I, I, I'll be honest, I'll be perfectly honest with you, very rarely do I watch myself back, because if I did, I'd be so self-critical. I mean, I know right now I'm thinking to myself, my hair looks dire, I've got minimal makeup on, but I thought, no, I just want to do it, I just want to do a live, because everyone's been asking. Oh, right, there is, there is Cotton Trader Shop. Yeah, so, like I said, there is a following for Cotton Traders, so, yes, I've seen rugby stuff, yeah. Hi, Money Mental. Sorry, I didn't say hello to you. I missed anyone else. Don't want to miss anyone else. I want to say hello to everybody. And if you're watching and not chatting, just put a little smiley face. If you don't want to, don't want to chat, just put a smiley face to let me know you're enjoying this. Or you could put a sad face if you're not enjoying this. <laughs> but if you're not enjoying this, please tell me why. Because that's the thing I hate. You get a thumbs down, but they don't tell you why. Give me constructive criticism that I can do something about. Right. I don't know if the lady knows that sold me these, because she said she didn't have a lot of kids stuff. But I think these are kids. They're Timberland. You were tags. Like a combat trouser. It says 12, but I'm thinking that's age 12, because they're really diddy. So I have no idea, because I don't sell kids kids clothes at all so if anybody's got any ideas of price wise I mean I suppose I could look it up couldn't I I will look it up so some little Timberland combats everybody's still talking about cotton traders get your cotton traders stuff on if you've got it because as I said mine sold within three days it was quite a nice skirt that I had what we got here we have got right this is another make that i've never heard of well it's got a thing that says elite and then a thing that says rise i'm thinking it's from a catalog because it's got one of those catalog doodads in it and it's just like a really long lined maxi dress really maxi dress very long that would be on the floor if i put that on Oh, that's weird. It's just got like three buttons at the back and no zip. Yeah. So has anyone heard of this brand? I'll show you the tag. And then it says Rise there. Elite Rise. <laughs> Sponsored by Cotton Traders. Ring them up, Steve. <laughs> Really? That's not very nice, Shell. Send them to me. Um, 
I'll yeah, I'll say it again. Um, basically, yeah, uh, someone contacted me, watches YouTube, who lives nearby, and said she had a load of stuff that she'd bought to resell, but she was going to leave work, but she's decided to stay at work for a bit longer, so she's not going to get into reselling again. And she wanted all the stuff out of her house, basically. She had it all in her spare room. Um, I went round there and I bought over 130 items and it works out less than a pound each item. So I'm very happy. She was very happy. It's all good. And a lot of it was new tags. Most of it's brands that I know and that I sell. So, yeah, I went for it. And the lovely lady knew about the fact that I like eel mugs and she gave me two lovely eel mugs as well. No, three, three lovely eel mugs. And a lovely little Winnie the Pooh, um, like um, Christmas. See, this is what happens, gets the end of day and I can't think of words. Espresso, espresso cup. I usually get one thumbs down, but now that I've said that, I'll probably get more than one thumbs down. What's this? Oh, this is another make I've never heard of. Um, the original price was £90. Viella? Heather, if you're still there? Has Heather heard of Viella? Well, it was reduced a few times. Can you see? 90, 60... 90, 60, 36. Well, 45, then scrubbed out, then 36. And that is the make. Viella. Never heard of them. Now, this must be linen. When I find the care label. It's very soft. Yes, 100% linen. Marvellous. It's a middle-aged brand, yeah. It does very look like it. Very look like it? It does very look like it. <laughs> yes, yeah. I will do. I, I, I had put a notepad here and I'd planned on writing everything down, but I haven't. What I've done is... Oh, it's very high class. I've I've showed you and then I've gone like that and chucked it there. Now, this is interesting. Never seen anything like this before. It is a make Zanzia, Zanzia collection, but it has the, the New York Yankees and the collar. It says New York. It's got the Yankees badge, but it is ladies. Well, it's a size medium, but I... hang on, buttons, buttons on the left for ladies, isn't it? No, it's men's then. Buttons on the right, so it's a men's top. Hey, look, I thought it was ladies. Yeah, that's quite nice. <clears throat> Sold two new tops recently, quickly, £15. The tag was 50 Is that Viella, is it, Al? <clears throat> what have I missed? Have I missed anything? Violet is what my mum would buy for a special occasion. Older lady brand, yeah. Like Anne Harvey. I've got a few bits of Anne, Hi Anne Harvey. FBI wants to know in the box. Well, they have a blooming long way to come, I tell you that, Denver, because uh, I'm in the UK. We don't have the FBI. What's DBG saying? Have I got any spanners in here? I'm looking down. I'm not seeing any spanners. I'm going to make... Um... Thank you, BCP. DBG, I've just made you a moderator as well because you're very fast. You're a fast lady. So what does anyone think of this then? I've never heard of the make, but like it's, New York, it's the Yankees, but obviously it's a... 
uh, Zanzia collection. Obviously someone bought it in America or something and brought it back with me. I will do so. Yeah, so... I don't know, what do you reckon? 15 plus postage, try that, see what happens. Possibly not, because we're in the UK and that's an American thing, but... You never know. What's this? New with tags. Ale Hop. Never heard of them in my life, but it is a pretty little... Now, this isn't a hippie, a boat, a uh, peasant top, is it? Kind of a hippie boho type doodad. I really should do this in the morning, because at the end of the day, I just don't know words. I just speak gibberish. That's pretty anyway, isn't it? Has got no price on it. Has it got what it's made of? Probs not. What this? It's made in India. Oh, it's a hundred percent cotton. And it says hand wash only, so it probably shrinks, but it's really pretty. You know what's going to happen shortly, don't you? That's all going to go. How long have I been on? 30 minutes. I've got two items left. Um, Fat face. Just a fat face top. Bit hideous, but, you know, someone might like it. Just like a... Uh, cotton. Feels like cotton. Do you know what? I'm terrible. Feels like cotton, 100% viscose. Totally wrong. There you go, but it's just like a soft top. Chicago White Sox baseball cap for £17 recently, and apparently they are a rubbish team. I've got a load of my husband's baseball caps on, and they're getting loads of views, and nobody's blim buying them, and I've got them on at reasonable prices. I've got baseball... Uh, NFL and basketball, because he went he went to um, Florida with work a few couple of years back, and he came home with loads of hats. Your other half likes baseball. What's that? The um, the top, the cottony top with the pattern on. That is quite nice, isn't it? Don't undervalue that. Yeah, I'll I'll look it up. I always do before I list anything. I do like a draft, um, and then usually what I'll do is I'll like research load in a chunk. So I have my manifest sheet. I think I've got some blank ones here. So I have my manifest sheet, and that'll have that all filled out and all the measurements. And at the end there, I've got listed price and price paid, and I'll do like a whole sheet at a time, research and put a price, and then I'll list them all. So, yeah, I always check. I don't um, just, I don't just think of a price in my head and stick it on. It's the wrong time of year for baseball caps, is it? Well, my husband said get them on because people like them for the summer, and obviously we're getting towards spring, or people might be going away on holiday, might see them and want anything. Strategy: put everything at a silly high price, get some watches, offer half the asking price, so it looks like they're getting a bargain. Could do that, yeah. See, I have thought about putting stuff up at silly high prices, and actually I have got that Laura Ashley ball gown up at a really high price, and I think it has quite, quite a few watches, but I haven't had the send offer on that one yet. I don't know why. I think it might be because I relisted it recently and reduced the price. I don't know. Um, so I'll keep an eye out for that and see um, if I can... Because I only paid 10 quid for it, so realistically, I think I've got it on for like 90 quid. I could... I could take quite a big chunk off. Um, obviously, it's the wrong time of year for something like that. It's a velvet ball gown with gold on it. Like a gold lame massive bow. 
if you've seen any of my other hauls. There's someone on the tap chat who reckons if he puts everything on 30% promoted listings and jacks the price up, he'll get more sales. I'm waiting for him to fall flat. Yeah, that's not. Why would you want to give 30% to eBay? You already give them enough money. I really have got to get listing this week. I haven't done any, any listing for over a week. Right, last but not least <laughs> is an atmosphere. She probably picked it up because it's um, new with tags. It was reduced from £12 to £5. It's just a little like green lacy top, which I don't know if anyone will buy, but at least it's got the sequins and that with it. So I'll probably, there's a few bits I might just stick on 99p auction. Maybe start it at £2. Right, that is the box done. Question is, should I get another box or should we leave it there and I can do, or I can get some votes in what you want me to do next. I've got another big box of women's wear. I've got a massive bag full of men's wear. I've got a bag full of plus size and I'll probably leave the, the winter coats and the jumpers and show them another time. Sing. And I don't want to break youtube by singing i'm afraid i used to be in the school choir and i used to be able to sing um we're walking in the air like perfectly when i was a kid and my sister's got a really good operatic voice my um my dad and my sister were both in a um amateur dramatic society um years ago when we were kids and um she played um oh god what's the name of the woman you know the barber roughly what did you pay per item less than a pound dbg um oh, can somebody help me the demon barber barber that made people into pies sweeney todd yes she was the lead in sweeney todd she was the woman that helped make the pies and she was brilliant. I've never been so proud in my life. She just sung brilliant. And then my dad was in a production of, I can't remember, but it was in like a white dinner suit and he sung really lovely as well. My dad's quite a good singer. And he sung at the, at the Spa Pavilion, which is a theatre in Felixstowe. He sung What a Wonderful World as well, which was lovely. But I used to help with the sets. I, I'm... Was it Mrs. Miggins? That does ring a bell, yeah. There's a market for theatre costumes, yeah, definitely. I mean, they had like um, a woman that used to make a lot of the stuff. There was a, a local fancy dress hire place that's only just shut, actually, and she used to make a lot of stuff, and they used to use her for the costumes. But as I say, I used to help with the sets. So I was very, very shy as a child. So what does everyone want me to do? Do you want to vote for what I do next, as in on another haul, another video? Or do you want me to get something now to stain that? The other stuff, there's so much stuff. That was the smallest box, so I thought I'd do that one first. Um, you live next door to the theatre as well. Well, that's nice. Dave? Um yeah, I, I probably will do the men's clothes on the next video. Actually, I did a little um, dance around the living room when I was looking at the at the men's clothes because there was there was some really good stuff in there. So I was really really pleased. Yeah, I know. I need to go to. I need to go do some listing so I can actually sell something. So uh, yes, thanks everyone for watching. Did I get any footage from the meetup? I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm really bad, Peter. I'm really really sorry. I basically filmed. Like I done a little piece to camera, like when I, before I left the house, and then I filmed myself at Long Benton Metro Station. Then I done a time lapse of me travelling from Long Benton to Whitley Bay, and then I forgot. And then when I was in a charity shop, and I thought I really should vlog, I got too scared. So 
no, you don't need to see that dance. That's a dance that nobody sees apart from my husband. <laughs> it was just a silly dance around the living room. <laughs> oh, good. Right. Sorry. I didn't realise. Yeah, I don't want to overlap with anyone else going live. I had a feeling somebody went live on Monday night, but I wasn't sure who it was. One word, Bristol. Dave, if you buy me enough rosé wine, then you probably will see me act like an absolute tit, because I do. Wine has this very strange effect on me. That's why I don't drink it very often. But if I do drink wine, it's rosé and it's in Vandal. So there you go. You've been warned. So... Yes, Darren is a very lucky man. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> no, he does know it. So I'm going to go, everyone. Thanks for watching. Um, if you didn't see it all, watch it back. As I say, it's not that interesting, but, you know, it's good to go live, isn't it? Because everyone gets a chance to chat, get together and chat. So I hope you all have a re the rest of your evening is pleasant and I shall see you soon. And I'll be carrying on doing my vlog this week. So... Hopefully that'll be out ne beginning of next week if I remember to do it every day, which I'm sure I will because I'm using it to motivate myself and do some work. Yes, yeah, good lot of stuff. I'm really pleased with it. So you're very welcome. Thanks, everyone, and take care, and I shall see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.